Remember when I told you guys that I was hoping for a sweep in this A's series? We talked about how bad the OPSs are for all the A's hitters, how they were just a shade over 700 for their best guys, and it's ugly. And the Jays should go in there, and they should dominate and sweep the series. Well, the Jays are on the verge of getting swept in Oakland. And you're all probably wondering, where the hell are you? Well, at Cole's place, in Cole, Blue Jays Center, and... Um, Mainly here for the wing eating contest that we had earlier today and came out victorious. 31 wings. I'm feeling <laughs> mint condition right now. But I think Rob had 24, Cole had 22. So that's kind of where we're at here. That's why I'm here talking to you guys about this uh, a disaster of a game today. And even that's an understatement. Yusei Kikuchi, we saw in his last inning against the Rays, pounding the strikes in, getting 8Ks and only walking one dude. And we're like, hey, when this guy throws strikes, he's not half bad. Well, he goes out there today against Oakland. A lineup, as we've talked about so many times, that is very bad. And he gets absolutely torched. But not with the bat. With his command. The man faces, what, 16 batters total? I believe he had, well, no, I don't know how many. You know what, no matter what. Didn't face many guys. He had seven walks. So five walks and two hit by pitches. In two, what was it, two and a third? Two and a third. The guy's dog water. He's absolutely horrendous. How do we keep running this guy out there every five days? You out there against the worst lineup in baseball. They had a total of two hits through, uh, what was it, like four innings, five. I think they had three through like seven he had five runs because they weren't able to make contact, but they were finding ways to get runs. How this were their first run in the bottom of the first? Well, it was, a, it was a single from Bethancourt, but how did the first two guys get on base? The walk, Allen scores in the play. Then Murphy hits him and him to a double play, right? And I think it was the bases loaded, uh, nobody out at that point. Hits into the double play. We're like, great. Well, what's that second one? How did Ramon Laureano get on base? <gasps> he walked as well. So both runs come in to score. And you're down 2 nothing in the first inning. We go to the top of the second. Matt Chapman comes up. former His former team in, in, in Oakland, obviously. But he crushes the ball to center field. It's a two-run bomb. Biggio scores. And we're tied at two. Just where you want to be, right? Right back in the ball game. Give Kikuchi a fresh slate. Goes out there in the third. Uh, top of the third. Or, sorry. Bottom of the second. And fires up a clean inning, albeit, you know, not he did have a walk. Uh, grounded to a double play. Then another walk. So really still not finding the strike zone. And then we go to the third. Where not only does he walk one guy, he hits back-to-back -back hitters on the back. And he, he walks and loads the bases. You know, and then uh, Trent Thorne goes out there, right? And he gets the the, the little infield pop up, and then, but and then and then he comes out and he walks somebody, right? He ends up walking who was it? Chad Pinder. In comes Ramon Laureano, and just like that, you tied the game at two, right? You were down two nothing. You you erase the two nothing deficit to get it back to two two. Then you're down two again. It's now four two ball game. We go to the top of the fourth inning, and Teoscar Hernandez, it's an absolute missile to center field, and it's a solo bomb for Teo to make it a 4-3 ball game. And with two out, Jays get a couple more base runners, and it looks like there's going to be a bloop single, but they lay out and make a fantastic play, and it keeps the game at 4-3. You know, and Trent Thorne doing a great job through two and a third, but again, he gives up one hit in the game, one hit in his two and a third, and it's a solo bomb to Stephen Piscotti. In the, in the bottom of the fifth, to extend their lead, is now 5-3. But before that, the Jays, had a, the Jays had a chance to tie that game. Matt Chapman, it's a single into left center. It's, it wasn't hit hard enough, right? So it bounces, they, they, they make the play. And Alejandro Kirk was at second base. He goes about halfway trying to figure out if it's going to drop or not. Once he decides to, if, if, that it's dropped, he gets the wave from Louis Rivera, and he's out by an absolute country mile. And it's tough. It's a tough scene. It was a tough scene for the Blue Jays. In the, that might have actually been the same inning that uh, that diving play happened. And it's, it's it was really tough to watch tonight. And the Jays end up losing at five three. You've had five runs in back to back games to the worst offense in all of baseball. Like what is going on with this team?
Kikuchi has been downright abysmal. You can't play him now. He's getting to the point where he's unplayable. Remember that point we were talking about with Trevor Richards earlier in the season where he could, couldn't go in any without giving up any runs? And then they then they put him on the IL, the Phantom IL stint. Now he's back from that. But you say Kikuchi has been terrible. The problem is you don't have anybody to, anybody to replace him with. Do you open with like a Casey Lawrence or a Maximo Castillo? I mean, bring him in, in relief? I don't know what you do at this point. He's terrible. Can't find the strike zone. Plunking guys. The confidence level is, is down the drain for you, Kikuchi. And I don't know when it's going to come back, if any time. We have this guy, we sent him to a three-year deal. As Rob would always say, I don't know how I'm going to watch two more years of this. And you might not have to. Because the guy's bad. Real bad. Let's get to the player stats before I wrap this thing up because I don't want to talk about this anymore. Kikuchi went with two and a third. Only allowed two hits in the ball game. Only two. Right? And one was the single, the RBI single from Bethancourt, which, again, if he didn't walk the first two guys, yeah, it might have been a two-out single or something. And the other one was a little squibber just past the diving Kevin Bijou at first base. Both were singles. Yeah, you allowed four runs over two and a third, walked five, and hit two guys. Awful. Trent Thornton went two and a third. Only allowed one hit, but it was a solo bomb. Three, two fast, but on the middle of the plate. Not going to get away with that very often. Two strikeouts and a walk. And that one walk was the base loaded walk to score Loreano in the bottom of the third inning for the fourth run for the A's. So Trent Thorne's line doesn't look bad. Two and a third, one hit, one walk, one run, a couple strikeouts. Doesn't look bad. But the, the hit and the walk both resulted in a run scoring. So it was a tough scene there for Trent Thorne. David Phelps went an inning and a third, got a strikeout, nothing else doing. So a really good job from him. Trevor Richards went out there in a clean inning. Walked a couple, looked like he was losing himself quite a bit, but found it. And struck out two guys in his clean inning of work. Tim Mays went to clean inning, allowed one hit, and that was it. Bullpen, for the most part, did their job. Right? After, after Yusei Kikuchi left the ball game, they had a total of, what was that? Two hits and walked three. But no runs. Or other than Trent Thornton's solo bomb. That's not too shabby at all for the Blue Jays' bullpen. But again, the problem was you already allowed four runs in the first two and a third. So it really didn't matter what your bullpen did. In your offense... You only scored three runs against Oakland. Now, he had some tough luck as well. I get it. You know, Tasker Hernandez been two for four in the game. The run scored, an RBI on the home run that he hit. Matt Chapman had a great day today. Three for four in the ball game. The run scored two RBIs on the home run that he hit. And Rymel Tapio went two for four in the game. The team overall had ten hits in the game. Nine strikeouts. For the second consecutive game, has not walked. So that might tell you something about the, the approach maybe at the plate. And then Vladdy gets the day off. And I'm so baffled about this. We all know that against an Oakland A's team that is not very good, you shouldn't be able to win without Vladdy in the lineup. But I'm sorry. The team going in today had lost four straight and has not looked good in any game. And you're going to take out arguably your best one of your best hitters? Like, what's that going to do? Help us win a game? No. Well, 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 what if you do win that game? Well, we're just going to keep him out tomorrow too? Of course not. So I don't really see the point in it. Yeah, night game for day game tomorrow. Ah, I don't buy that nonsense. I really don't. Uh, and the pitching matchup tomorrow, I think it's James Caprillion on the mound for the A's, and it's Jose Barrios. We all know the home road splits for Barrios. He's been great at home and abysmal on the road. We all know tomorrow's a road game, 337 first pitch there in Oakland at one of the worst ballparks in baseball. And the Jays have an opportunity to possibly get swept in that series against one of the worst teams in baseball. It's pretty bad right now as a Toronto Blue Jays fan. Lost now five straight games and are 44 and 38 on the season. No words, Jays fans. No words. All right. So, you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and not the game today, smack the like button. I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. You guys have not already comment down below. Thoughts in the video. Thoughts in the game. Would you like? Would you not like? From today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays, the Twitter link is down below. So, follow up. Send me a DM to that great stuff. The Instagram link is also down below. So, follow up there. If you have not done so already, guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow, of course. <laughs> Jays, A's, the finale of the three-game set in Oakland. Uh, Jays might get swept. Hopefully not. We're talking about salvaging a finale, but we're not, let's be honest here. Even if they do win that, we're not happy about it, of course, because that's a really bad team, a team that you're supposed to crush, and you just haven't. You just haven't done it. All right, so thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and not the ball game today. We'll talk to you guys then.